Well, this is a wild one. Uh, there is a viral Twitter list that's gone uh, out there of dozens of authors who just ran afoul of the woke narrative at the end of the day. And they've done so, some of them in innocuous ways, but they're trying to cancel everybody who has a name for just not falling into line with the crazy extreme leftist beliefs. This is what happens every single time. And this is honestly the end fallout of the mainstream publishing industry. We've been talking about it for years, about how these people are just walking off their own cliff like lemmings and just going into just complete destruction of the book industry. And it's been that way. And uh, of course, nobody uh, on the publishing side listened because they got the clout, they got their contracts, and they were very happy to just be a part of the establishment. I was really sad, especially with somebody like Brandon Sanderson, who, of course, is a Mormon. So he's got uh, some good morals behind him. Of course, uh, he stands and opposes gay marriage as something that's uh, something that does not help society. And because of that, uh, you know, he was forced to equivocate and actually put some of this stuff into his books at Tor because Tor is such an evil company at the end of the day. Let's get into the news about this in just a moment. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one bestselling author myself, an award-winning comic creator, and I hope you'll check out my books right here. Uh, they are on my web store and on Amazon. Those are in the description below. We've also got a subscribe star. I would appreciate channel memberships. We are doing the Lord's work here and, of course, calling out the woke industry on every facet of pop culture, and I appreciate you guys for being here. So here it is, the viral Twitter list uh, right here. This was posted by somebody named Ella is Writing. Just a poetic mess. Oh my gosh. Things to know about popular authors before you pick up their works. <laughs> and uh, this went super viral. Uh, and of course, uh, <laughs> lots of people uh, were going off on this. Like everything these days, the, the current woke cause is uh, free Palestine, right? And so anybody who just vo voiced like neutrality or not interest in the conflict in the Middle East, uh, or of course, just like supporting Israel at all, were canceled in uh, this. And so <laughs> we'll see some of this. It's really funny. She also criticized Stephanie Meyer's incorporation of Native American story elements and J.K. Rowling's supposed transphobia. Reactions range from authors upset uh, that they weren't included on the list. Here's Larry Coria from Bain Books, uh, who says, hey, best-selling novelist here. Why aren't you talking about me? Uh, that's what Larry does. Uh, typically, it's always about Larry. Uh, but uh, it's pretty funny. His reaction here and getting uh, his crowd involved uh, made this person go protect their tweets uh, after posting this list because of uh, all that. So here it is. A lot of people were saying, cool, great list of books to read. Perhaps one day your name will be on the list. And here it is uh, with some AOC memes right here. And this is what we have over the course of this deal. So uh, most of the list, like I said, is all about just uh, not standing with Palestine hard enough at the end of the day. But you look at the list of authors here. It's the who's who of YA books with J Sarah J. Moss, Seth, Stephanie Meyer, Rick Reardon, Brandon Sanderson, and J.K. Rowling all being demanded to be canceled by these woke mobs at the end of the day. Absolutely funny to watch this. And really even funnier that the SJWs don't even stand by their own thing. Because when this all goes uh, to, uh, you know, uh, the public at large, and they get any sort of pushback, they always go protected in their tweets. They never can stand by their own words. They know what they're doing is wrong at the end of the day. They know what they're doing is hurtful and hateful towards just people who just don't agree with them politically on maybe even one topic, or even mildly just don't agree with them enough or don't push enough of their topic. Uh, it's never enough for the woke inquisition. We're seeing this today, and we saw this in my last video about David Tennant and his wife, of course, uh, dealing with the exact same pushback. There's a coordinated effort going on right now to silence anybody uh, who just doesn't go along with the mainstream narrative, and it's getting worse out there. But we will never equivocate. We will never bow to these people here. I appreciate you being here, guys. We're going to be continuing to make books that are going to upset these people at the end of the day. Gosh, I remember uh, when I came out with my Blood of Giants book here, uh, I actually called them uh, the natives uh, when they go uh, to a, a foreign shore because it's an adventure book. I called them Savage Dr Jungle Warriors, SJWs, right? And the uh, Savage Jungle Warriors uh, were, you know, the people that they just had to fight and uh, deal with at the end of the day. And I thought, you know what? Somebody's going to find this and they're going to go crazy about it on the internet. But nobody ever did. I got no pushback because I'm not in these circles whatsoever. This became a best-selling book. It sold a lot. Real People really enjoyed it because it's a just fun adventure book. And nobody cares at the end of the day. So if you're an author, never bow to these people, really. <laughs> Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely check this out. You will enjoy the book. And I'll see you soon.